the snow continues to pile up and, well, we take a look at the storm impact and uh, it's going to be high. For driving hazards, we've already had slide-offs on I-90. That's going to happen throughout the day in many areas unless you slow down. Uh, also, into the serious shoveling, yeah, up to six inches of snow. Yeah, there's going to be some serious shoveling. Use caution. Make sure you're healthy enough to do that. Otherwise, find some kids in the neighborhood. Mountain snows already changed required lookout pass and Snoqualmie Pass. Fourth of July is a mess. So traveling, again, high impact in there. And that's going to be what we're seeing all the way into tomorrow morning. Taking a look at the day planner, we're going to see by dinner time the chance of rain snow mixed and a high of 34 degrees. But that light snow will add up throughout the day. The Doppler radar this morning continuing to be full of snow. Now we see a little bit of a backside in that northeast corner or northwest corner of the screen and into the mountains a little bit of a break but boy around Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, Rathdrum, Deer Park uh, we're expecting to see again six to ten inches Deer Park and north six to eight in Colville. We'll see four to six in Spokane um, and again the mountains are going to get a, a lot more up to 18 inches of snow in some areas uh, for the mountains. 24-hour forecast you can see the uh, the blue that snow we see again oh right there about six o'clock a, a, a bit of a change temperatures uh, into the mid 30s we'll see rain potentially into Spokane proper and then outlying areas will continue to be snow and then we'll get a bit of a break with more coming in tomorrow morning with rain snow mixed or rain and then it should dry out after that and we'll uh, Thursday afternoon looking pretty good so the four things you need to know as you're heading out today is the fact that it's going to be steady snow we are going to have four to six inches possible for the Spokane area heavy snow into the mountains but New Year's Day will be dry and so New Year's Eve shouldn't be too bad either we'll have morning snow and afternoon drying out Friday 38 and cloudy look for highs of 40 Saturday and Sunday with overnight lows at or above freezing so rain rain snow mix and then snow into the mountains more snow into the mountains Monday Tuesday with the potential for snow or rain snow mix at times here Monday morning it would be a snow event if it happened because the overnight low is expected to be below freezing. I'm Mark Peterson. We'll continue to keep this up to date for you. First Alert Weather app is free, available with, again, alerts, watches, warnings, and these videos that we record, and we update it around the clock. Have a great day, and please, please be safe out there.